Hey y'all, this is Jamie. Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to be testing out and reviewing a few of the products in the Cream Shop's BT21 collection. But before we get into that, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Also be sure to give this a thumbs up if you enjoy the video and without further ado, Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so just the other day, in one of my last videos from last week, I was talking about possibly doing more BTS content. Now, I had meant possibly not makeup-related BTS content, just, you know, just regular, random, let's talk about them kind of content. And then I saw, I was looking at the new arrivals on Ulta's website, and I saw that the Cream Shop, which is, I think they're mostly known for like skincare, has a whole BT21 collection. So if you didn't know, which I still haven't like fully delved into BT21, so I may not be the best person to be explaining this. Basically, BTS teamed up with Line Friends, I believe is what it is, to create characters that are all um, based on themselves. So each character is based on a different member of BTS and they have their own, I think it's called like Universe Star B20, BT21 is the world that their characters live in. Right here I have, this is Cookie, this is Jungkook's character. Um, Jungkook is my bias. I've had to learn like all of these words after becoming, I would say I am ARMY, um, and joining the BTS fandom. Um, I've had to learn all these words, like I didn't realize that bias is how you say favorite nowadays. I don't know if that's just within ARMY and BTS universe or if that's like everywhere now a word that we use instead of favorite. So I would like to say that I am another term that I have learned, OT7, which basically means that you love them all equally. Um, I will mostly say that. However, I feel like I relate to Jungkook the most. Shy, introverted, but you look in the corner and they're doing something ridiculous and weird. I would say that that very much sums me up. And I feel like my eyes just kind of gravitate towards him sometimes in music videos and performances. So OT7 with a slight Jungkook and Suga <laughs> bias. Those are the two that I relate to the most, I would say. So yeah, I got this off of Amazon. I thought it was super cute. I thought it would be fun to share with you guys some of the products that I got from this collection. I am looking on the Ulta website right now so I can see exactly what they have. They do actually have a headband that looks like this. Um, it doesn't have the little bow, but it's got the pink and it's got Cookie in the middle. Um, and then they also have one for Shoki, which is Suga's character. And they also have lip balms, which I do have one of the lip balms. This again is Shooky, which is Suga's character. And they do have sheet masks. So they have a sheet mask for each separate character and then they have one for the group. So I decided to get the group mask. This one in particular, I think they all have different active ingredients that are supposed to do different things. This one in particular has hyaluronic acid, collagen, and AHA. By the way, the cream shop, I had to actually check while I was in line. Um, about to buy this stuff, I was like, oh my gosh, I've never looked up the cream shop. I didn't know if it was cruelty free or not, which if you did not know, I am a cruelty free consumer when it comes to cosmetics. So this brand, the cream shop, is designed in Los Angeles and they are completely cruelty free and vegan. Well, I don't know if all their products are vegan. I know some of their products have vegan written on it. It's designed, is it designed in Los Angeles and made in Korea? I'm confused because one of my products says designed in Los Angeles, and then another one of them says made in Korea. So I don't know. Maybe it's designed in Los Angeles and produced in Korea? So they do have sheet masks. They also have one for Chimmy, which is Jimin's character with vitamin C, turmeric, and niacinamide. They have one for Shooky, which has hyaluronic acid, triple peptide, and manuka honey. They have one for Meng, J-Hope's character, that has salicylic acid, tea tree oil, and niacinamide. Then we have Koya's sheet mask, which Koya is RM's character, and this has hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, and blueberry complex. Then there's one for Tata, who is Tay-Tay's character, uh, Tae-Young, or V, um, that has hemp oil, watermelon, and elantuin. And then of course we have one for Cookie, who is JK's character, and it has Bulgarian rose water, glycerin, and propolis. 
Oh, and RJ. I'm sorry. I almost forgot RJ. How could I leave RJ out? That is Jin's character, and it has retinol, vitamin C, and squalene. And then they also have some cleansing towelettes, some, you know, makeup remover wipes. I'm trying to be a little more environmentally friendly, so I'm not using makeup wipes anymore. They do also have under eye patches, which I wanted to get some of those, but they didn't actually have it. Um, they didn't have any of them in the store. They also had a sanitizing spray. And then finally, oh, they do also have blackheads, uh, nose strips. And then lastly, they have a eyeshadow palette, which I couldn't help but get. This is the first thing that I saw and I was like, oh, that's a BTS eyeshadow palette. Got three products here. That was that was like a, a long-winded way for me to say that I got three products to try out today. So let's try them out. <laughs> it's the first thing I'm gonna try out is the lip balm. Um, again, this is Shuki, which is Suga Minyungi, his character, and it is chocolate cream. Looks like this. It's in the shape of a macaroon. Actually, it looks like quite a bit. Nice and soft. Da, 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 da. Feels nice. I wasn't expecting too much because it is just a lip balm, but one down, two to go. So the next one I'm gonna try out is the mask. So I, I think I've said in other videos that I'm not a huge fan of sheet masks, um, just because I feel like they're messy, but I'm willing to try this one for BTS. Um, it has hyaluronic acid, which hydrates, collagen, which rejuvenates, and AHA, which smooths. Step one, cleanse and dry skin. Step two, leave mask on for 15 to 20 minutes. No rinsing necessary, allow skin to absorb nutrients. The masks are gentle and may be used every day, so that's nice. So we're gonna open this baby up and put her on. Hopefully it won't be as messy as I fear it might be. <laughs> it is messy, but this does look cute. So I'm gonna try. Do you know BTS does a lot of sheet masks and then they have amazing skin so I guess we can get on board that train and I feel like sheet masks make you look horrifying okay so let's wait for 15 to 20 minutes all right so it has been about 15 minutes so we're going to take this off And no need for rinsing. Allow the skin to absorb its nutrients. Whoa, this is a lot of nutrients on my skin. <laughs> okay, there we go. I feel like I already look younger and fresher. All right, so the last product is the eyeshadow palette. This is a nine shade palette. Super cute, all the characters up there. And then this character right here is supposed to be ARMY. No mirror, but that's okay. We have nine shadows. It looks like there are five shimmers and four mattes. This is cruelty-free and vegan. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do some swatches. So let's go. So in the top row, we have the shades Spotlight, Daybreak, and sugar. Then in the second row we have the shades Sweetheart, Cocoa Crunch, and Encore. And Encore is more of a glitter. And then on the last row we have the shades Orbit, Shining Star, and Dance Break. So those were all the shades. It was really um, interesting Encore, this red shade right here. I thought looks in the palette, it looks the same texture as all the rest of the shimmers, but this is actually like a straight up glitter. It also took forever to get off of my hand. I'm thinking what I kind of want to do is, I know for a lot of their music videos and like photo shoots, they do wear some eyeshadow, BTS does, and it tends to be kind of that like smoked out eyeliner look where they have some kind of dark color right here. Um, that it is darker like towards the lash line, but then it kind of gets smoked out as you get further up um, So I kind of want to try that a little bit. I think with the shade orbit, but I am gonna put a couple of shades in the Crease as well. So I think I'm gonna take the shade sugar right here And I'm gonna put that in the crease 
there is a bit of kick up in the palette, but not too much. I know <laughs> I only plan to use like a couple of shades in this palette, but if y'all want another video using more shades with this, some of the other shimmer shades, I can definitely do that. Leave that in the comments, like this video. So now I'm gonna take the shade Orbit right here and I'm gonna start out putting it right along my lash line. And then I'm gonna grab a bit fluffier of a brush. And we're gonna buff that out a little bit. Okay, we're gonna kinda do it like that and call it a day. So let me do the other eye and then we'll proceed. I don't know, I feel like I wanna use one of these shimmer shades. Would it look ridiculous if I put a little bit of this shade on here? Let's see. No, I like that. <laughs> That's my notification. Perfect timing. It sometimes scares me though, like if it happens at night. I like that shade. And I'm like barely tapping and I'm getting this much payoff. I'm gonna go finish the rest of my face and I will be right back. All right, so here we go. This is the finished look. Um, I really like it and no, I'm not gonna take this off. Cause like I said, this is the finished look. Headband and all. Let's go through the products. The lip balm, which is what I tried first. It's a standard lip balm. My lips were still feel feeling pretty hydrated um, when I put on my lip gloss. The second thing we tried out was the mask. I liked it. I still probably won't use, go out and buy a bunch of them because I'm still not a huge fan of sheet masks, but it was a nice sheet mask. If you do like them, it felt nice. Um, my skin felt nice afterwards. Uh, it wasn't too tight because I feel like sometimes with masks, whether they're sheet masks, peeling masks, anything like that, my face gets really tight. Pleasant, but has not changed my mind about face masks, or sorry, sheet masks. I keep mixing face masks and sheet masks. We've been, we've been using the term face mask way too much recently. Last thing, the eyeshadow palette. Super cute packaging. It's very portable, I would say. It doesn't have a mirror, so you would need a separate mirror. As far as the shades, so there are, I would actually say there are four matte shades, four shimmer shades, and then one glitter shade right here. I like the matte shades. I like the colors of them. Um, I like that there's a darker, like charcoal gray, almost black shade in the palette. These two, sorry, this and this, these are my two favorite transition shades. I love like an orangey tan shade, and then I love like a peachy shade. So those are my two favorite types of colors to use in the crease, so I love that. I've always thought that there should be some kind of coppery or bronzy shimmer shade in a palette, so they've got that. They've got like more of a champagne, like peachy shimmer shade, um, which I like. I like this like gunmetal shade that they have down here. That is what's on my eyes right now. Really pretty. Like I said, when I was applying it, I like, I put my finger in it and then I just tapped and I got this much color payoff. Um, I think the same could be probably be said for this purple shade. They felt similar when I was swatching them. So yeah, I'd be a little careful with this glitter shade just because it is more glittery. Um, so careful not to get that in your eyes. It does seem very small glitter particles though, unlike some of the glitter shades that are used in other palettes. Um, so the actual particles look about the same size as these shimmer shades. Um, it just has a different texture. But still, be a little careful if you're putting that glitter shade on your eyes. Overall, I actually really liked this. Uh, I don't know if I don't know much about the cream shop um, I know that they have a lot of skincare products um, I've never looked into if they have other eyeshadows I like really liked these I thought they did perform really well 
Um, and it's got cute packaging. You got a little BTS characters, BT21 characters on it. So super cute. You could display it if you want. I think this is definitely a must have for any BTS fan out there. It's only $15 for nine shades. And um, like I said before, the mask is $4. The lip balm is $8. So pretty affordable products. Um, cause we know that some BTS stuff can get pretty pricey. Affordable, performed well, cute packaging. What more could you ask for? All right, so that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Um, Keep Our Declutter series is continuing. I'm also hoping to do a little bit more in reviews, get back to doing reviews and some BTS content, content, <laughs> words, some BTS content, some more Disney content, maybe some of my other interests, some more, more lifestyle and not makeup content, but the makeup content will still be there. It will still be the large chunk of my channel. All of that is coming. Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you like the video if you liked it. Comment down below anything you would like to see from me. BTS, Disney, makeup, or anything else, you know? Just go ahead and put it in there. We'll see what happens. That is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.